are you now feeling the pressure? Because I think there's a petition yeah, that's exactly. currently online. Your approval online ratings have dropped. 1.9 yeah. people who want it, yeah. want the election it's to go again. It's over two million. It's now Is over it two, two yeah, million it's, now? It's now over, just over two I, million. Do you feel the pressure? Look, I remind myself that very many people didn't vote Labour at the last election. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I'm not, I'm not surprised that many of them um, want a rerun. That isn't how our system yeah. works. Are you paying attention to the political turmoil sweeping across the UK? Over two million citizens have signed a petition demanding a general election, and the numbers are climbing faster than ever. Why? Because they've had enough? Enough of the broken promises, the betrayal of rural communities, and the soaring cost of living under Labour's leadership. This petition isn't just about politics. It's about the voices of millions who feel ignored by Keir Starmer's government. A government that seems to prioritise European subsidies over British farmers and delivers inheritance taxes that threaten the backbone of our countryside. For the sake of everybody here, and for all the farmers who are stuck at home today, paralysed by a fog of despair, over what's been foisted upon them. I beg of the government to be big, to accept that this was rushed through, it wasn't thought out, and it's a mistake. But it doesn't stop there. Public outrage is spreading like wildfire, fueled by figures like Jeremy Clarkson, whose biting criticism has captured the frustrations of countless Britons. Clarkson, known for his no-nonsense approach, isn't holding back. He's calling out the Labour government for policies that, according to him, are suffocating farmers, alienating rural communities, and eroding the values that hold this country together. From skyrocketing inflation to empty promises about energy costs, people are fed up with leadership that seems more focused on damage control than on solving real issues. Elon Musk has been talking about it. I've never seen a petition go this quickly. Let me ask you, do you think there should be a general election because of what they... Even Elon Musk has taken notice as this petition gains unprecedented traction. Meanwhile, mainstream media outlets like the BBC remain conspicuously silent, leaving citizens to wonder, what are they hiding? What are they afraid of? Clarkson's outcry, combined with this massive public push, is sending shockwaves through the political landscape. Think about it. Policies like inheritance tax might sound fair on paper, but for family farms, they're a death sentence. Imagine losing land that's been in your family for generations, all because of a tax you simply can't afford. This isn't just an attack on farmers. It's an attack on tradition, identity, and hard work. And yet, Labour's government seems unfazed, offering no meaningful solutions while rural communities sink deeper into despair. Decision was launched calling for a general election on the basis that Labour have broken promises and done things they never ever said they'd do. It's kind of trust is breaking down, but unbelievably, it's already on three quarters of a million signatures. Let's not forget Clarkson's own journey. A celebrity who's turned his platform into a megaphone for the countryside struggles. His Amazon show, Clarkson's Farm, has brought attention to these issues in a way no politician has managed. And now, with over two million signatures demanding a general election, Clarkson's criticism is no longer just a personal crusade. It's a national rallying cry. Have you had enough of all the false promises? Have you had enough of the fact we were told our electric bills will go down, but they've gone up? Inflation will come down, gone up. The economy will get better. G7 was one of the best economies before the election. It's now one of the worst. We're almost going into recession. This Labour government has been a complete and utter failure. It's been a disaster. So here's a question. Do you think this government deserves to stay in power? Have they done enough to earn your trust? Or is it time to demand real change? Stick with us as we break down this explosive story, expose the cracks in Labour's leadership, and give you the full picture of what's really happening behind closed doors. It's time to decide. Do we keep accepting broken promises? Or do we stand up and say, enough is enough? Stay tuned. It's clear. The UK is reaching a boiling point. Over 2 million people signing a petition to demand a general election doesn't happen every day. It's a seismic event, fueled by frustration and anger over policies that are seen as out of touch, especially with the rural heart of Britain.
Keir Starmer and his Labour government are in the crosshairs, accused of ignoring the very people they're meant to serve. Take inheritance tax, for example. On paper, it's sold as a way to create fairness. But in reality, it's crushing family farms under a mountain of financial pressure. Farms passed down for generations are being sold off because the hares simply can't pay the tax bill. This isn't just about losing land. It's about losing a way of life, a heritage, and the economic backbone of rural Britain. Yet Labour's response, silence. Oxen has pushed back against calls for him to become more involved in politics. The former Top Gear presenter helped organise the mass agricultural protest in London on Tuesday, calling for the government to rethink their inheritance tax changes. But Clarkson now says that he'd be a terrible political leader. Speaking to The Times, Clarkson said this, I'm a journalist at heart. I prefer throwing rocks at people than having them thrown. Jeremy Clarkson's voice has become a rallying cry in this battle. His Amazon series, Clarkson's Farm didn't just entertain, it exposed the harsh realities farmers face every day. From ridiculous bureaucracy to financial struggles, Clarkson peeled back the curtain on a world the government often overlooks. Now, with this petition gaining steam, Clarkson's criticism of Labour's policies is resonating louder than ever. But it's not just Clarkson or the petition. The Labour government's track record is being called into question across the board. Take the cost of living crisis. Despite promises of relief, energy bills remain sky high, inflation continues to soar, and working families are being forced to choose between heating their homes and putting food on the table. This isn't the vision of a thriving Britain that people were promised. And let's talk about Labour's handling of rural issues beyond inheritance tax. Farming subsidies have become a mess, with many feeling that Labour prioritises European standards over British interests. Farmers are left drowning in red tape while trying to keep their businesses afloat. When people like Jeremy Clarkson highlight these failures, it's no surprise that the government gets defensive. Clarkson has immense words about Labour's approach. He's accused the government of lacking real solutions and relying on empty rhetoric to pacify voters. His platform may come with a dash of controversy, but his message is cutting through. Rural Britain is being neglected, and it's time for change calling for a general election on the basis that Labour have broken promises and done things they never ever said they'd do. It's kind of trust is breaking down, but unbelievably it's already on three quarters of a million signatures. Even Elon Musk has been talking about it. I've never seen a petition go this quickly. Let me ask you, do you think there should be a general election because of what Labour... Meanwhile, the petition demanding a general election keeps growing. Elon Musk's interest in this political movement has only added fuel to the fire. When a figure of his global influence takes notice, it's a sign that this isn't just another fleeting protest, it's a movement with momentum. The reason Rachel Reeves says she brought this in is to stop wealthy people using it as a No, that was the only it. reason she did. Well, no, did... no, the other reason was to, to, to raise money for public services. From Farmers. From farmers. With, 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 we hear that, everyone. With, with BBC assets. BBC thinks you should be paying for everything. Which, okay, you know do you know how many BBC's people people. pay inheritance tax in this country? It's 4% of estates. What? 4% of estates. But where's the mainstream media in all of this? The BBC, often criticised for its apparent biases, has been remarkably quiet about the petition and the growing unrest. For many, this silence speaks volumes. Are they deliberately downplaying the scale of discontent to protect the Labour government? Or are they simply out of touch with what's happening on the ground? The frustration isn't just limited to rural communities. Across the UK, people are questioning Labour's priorities. Why is there so much focus on appeasing international interests while British citizens are struggling? Why does the government seem more interested in optics than outcomes? This isn't just about politics, it's about trust. Millions of people are saying loud and clear that they no longer trust Labour to lead. They're demanding a general election because they believe it's the only way to bring accountability back to British politics. As the government continues to sidestep these issues, the pressure is mounting. Every signature on that petition represents someone who feels let down, unheard and betrayed. And as Jeremy Clarkson has pointed out, these aren't just isolated cases, 
they are part of a larger pattern of neglect and incompetence. So, where does this leave us? The UK is at a crossroads. Will the government continue to ignore the voices of millions, or will it finally take action? Will Labour double down on its policies, or will it acknowledge that its approach is embarking? One thing is certain, the people of Britain aren't staying silent. From rural farmers to urban families, the call for change is growing louder by the day. This petition is more than a piece of paper. It's a declaration of frustration, resilience, and hope for a better future. As figures like Jeremy Clarkson and public movements gain momentum, it's clear that something has to give. So, what do you think? Is it time for a change in leadership? Can Labour redeem itself? Or is the public right to demand a new direction for Britain? Significantly after winning an election than any other Prime Minister in modern history. Is that because you essentially misled the country during the election and you've raised taxes in a way that no one was expecting or voted? I came into politics relatively late in life, having done other things. I came in with one purpose only, and that is to change lives for the better. We made key choices yesterday uh, in relation to the future of our country. But we choices that weren't in your manifesto, we, 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 there was no suggestion of £40 billion pounds of tax rises in that manifesto, by We inherited a very badly damaged economy. Uh, Do you think Labour's leadership is sustainable, or has the time come for a new direction? What would you like to see change in the way the government operates? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on this unfolding story. Britain is on the brink of something big, stay tuned.